Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, the IoT Encoder. Um, there are some comments which are saying that I shouldn't do this and I'm thinking about them. Maybe they aren't, they are just seeing the title and thinking that I'm giving away the solution or anything or explaining you the question. But I'm actually not. I'm just explaining you what Codechef explains you through text. I'm explaining you that through my voice. So let's do this next question, Magical Candy Store. And I hope people are not getting me wrong. If you still want me to stop, just email me and I will stop making this these type of videos but I thought that it will be good for beginners because this these videos let you motivation to actually think in the direction that I'm giving you and not everything is about rating and cheating things are about learning okay so let's try this last video if I still receive a negative feedback, I won't make these explanation videos anymore. I will just make the editorial videos after the contestants. So let's see. So Chef and Chef are at a magical candy store playing a game with the following rules. There are two candy counters. Each of them stores an infinite number of candies. At any time only one of the counters is open and the other is closed. Exactly one person is present at each of the counters. Initially chef is at the open counter and chef is at the closed counter. There is a sequence of indistinct integers a1 to an. And the game consists of r turns. In the ith turn the open counter offers only c equals this much candies to the player present at this counter. This player should choose a positive number of candies M to accept where M is less than or equal to C and less than greater, greater than or equal to 1. If this player accepts an odd number of candies, the players have to stop their positions and after each end turns, the counter which was currently open is closed and the counter which was currently closed is opened. The primary goal of each player is to maximize his own number of candies after hard turns and as a second priority, each player wants to minimize the number of candies his opponent has after hard turns. And you should process Q queries in each query you are given R and you should find the number of candies chef has after R turns. Assuming that both players play the game optimally since the number could be very large computed modulo 10 raised to 9 plus 7. Hope you know 10 raised to 9 plus 7 is prime. So you just need to take in the input data, process it and give the answer which contains the maximum number of candies that chef can have modulo 10 raised to 9 plus 7. So this the sum of n over all test cases does not exceed 10 raised to 6 gives you the time complexity of the solution and there are two subtasks try on subtask 1 and if you get it you can extend it to subtask 2 and i will explain these test cases so the first test case we have 4 10 2 1 so in the first second and third turn chef can take 4 10 and 2 and as all are even numbers his turn continues and in the fourth turn he can take 1 so this gives him 17 and for 5, this is odd, but as n equals to 4, swap occurs 2 times. So you can choose n equals 4. So it gives the answer 21. So hope you understood this test case. And this problem is a bit tricky. You can miss corner cases. There are various words that you need to underline. And the hint is, see each word of the problem carefully. Basically, read the question thrice, then you will come to know that you were missing something and that something costed you a whole answer because one word here is very important and you need to underline that and with that you can build your approach on finding the solution. So this was a very small hint and I hope people don't mind this and if you still mind this, do email me and I will stop this video. So thank you very much. Please do like, share and subscribe.